Hi there, welcome along to another video for you to row along to. We're outside again, the sun's out again. What is going on? Anyway, so this is session six of week one of the PDP plan, and this is our mid session that is a hard distance. So what we're doing today is 20 minutes at 26 strokes per minute, and your pace is gonna be around about nine or 10 seconds slower than your 2K pace. Okay, so let's just get into a four minute warm up first. I'll talk to you more about uh, what we're doing today while we're warming up, but there's no point you just sitting there listening to me. So, warm up, run about 18 strokes a minute in three, two, one, go. This is nice. That's gentle roll for the time being. And then in about five minutes time, it'll all change. So, 26 is one we don't really do on this channel much. Kind of no man's land for me. I'm really gonna jump from 24 to 28. But what I wanna do is I wanna do one week, which is this week, do 20 minutes at 26 strokes a minute, and then the next week, we're gonna do 20 minutes at 28 strokes a minute. Basically giving you the option from a stroke rate point of view. Now of course you don't have to follow me for a stroke rate, but then all you're doing is listening to my incredible stories out of sync with you. So that said, I'm already going too fast for stroke rate wise. So. Right, now, I want you to think about technique in this warm-up. We're not going to do the single leg stuff. We're just going to keep going through for the full four minutes. So start off by thinking about rocking your body from a forward lean to front. That's 11 o'clock as you're looking at this on the video to one o'clock at the back. And you're rocking through your hips and try and keep that forward lean for as long as possible as you drive through the stroke. And then the other thing I want you to think about is straight arms as you drive and then straight arms as you recover by releasing the handle away and over your knees. Now, four minutes might still be too short a warm up for you for uh, what will be a tough 20 minutes. So if you don't feel warm enough at the end of this, pause the video or restart the video, in which case, hello again. and make sure you're nice and warm. It's not really from a injury point of view, though obviously I wanna guard you against getting, getting injured. It's more just about making sure your body's ready to purr along at 26 strokes per minute at 2K plus nine or 10. So from an effort point of view, this is going to be a solid eight start. You're likely to be nine, nine and a half by the end, dare I say it, ten. And from a speech point of view, you are going to find it tough, okay? So I might even, I might back off a bit. I find it hard to talk to you. There's no point us rowing in silence together, is there? Okay, two more strokes. One more. I have a bug in my machine. Oh, you bug. Anyway. Ah, get off me. Have a drink. Keep moving up, down the rail. Make sure you're warm. I'll explain once again what we're doing, and then we'll get right into it, okay? 
Okay, so once again, we're going to be doing 20 minutes at 26 strokes per minute, and your pace is going to be around about 2k plus 9 or 10. Okay, effort level is going to be starting off around about an 8, and you're going to be finishing 9.5, maybe 10. And your speech is probably going to be quite tough to maintain because this is a top end mid. Okay, if you go a little bit faster, it turns this into a top. That's how top end it is. Okay, so you ready for this? 20 strokes, 26, sorry, strokes per minute. Keep up with me for stroke rate. Uh, it is going to be hard, so don't worry when you start to get a bit muscle sore and a bit cardio worn, okay? It's meant to do that to you. Okay, so I'll see you in 20 minutes. Well, we're rowing together, so I'll see you now. But let's get ready in three, two, one, go. Twenty-six is just such an odd stroke rate. There we go. And it's also not one that I can time by looking at the monitor and just doing a countdown of the time. So we're thirty seconds in. Make sure you're at pace. I mean, I'll accept 2k plus 11, really. Always your neighbours are out again. Can't really complain when it's a sign of kids having fun. The opposite would be they were inside playing Xbox or whatever. So a minute gone. So this is still one that you should have control over. You shouldn't be ragged going up and down the rail. A nice Solid drive from the front. <clears throat> Followed by controlled recovery. <clears throat> now, this one is based around doing a 5k hard, okay? So, if you're ever looking for a session to do and you don't fancy listen to me, do the same thing, but set your monitor for 5,000 meters. and go 26, 28, or maybe even 30 strokes per minute. And that'll be 2K plus nine, or plus five, or plus two. But I doubt 2K plus two will be that manageable and certainly not that much fun. I mean 5k at 2k plus what, 7? That was my PB. <laughs> I think no. 2k plus 5 was. <clears throat> Whatever 1730 works out as anyway. That was a, a race in Devon a couple of years back.
It's not the most exciting stroke rate. However, we're almost five minutes gone. And then another five minutes. You'll probably have legs that are on fire and be breathing heavy enough that the last thing you need at that point is some fun. What you'll be looking for is the end of your row. All right, five minutes gone. It's 130 strokes so far. Concentrating your breathing. If you're not talking away to someone like me, hi, then you should be able to get a good pattern of when you inhale and exhale through the stroke. Some folks prefer to breathe out on the drive. Some folks prefer to breathe in and open the rib cage. Whatever makes you go faster is the one to do. Didn't put any sun cream on my really short haircut tonight. Hope it don't burn. Slip, slap, slip. Keep those drives at the front nice and powerful. We're only seven minutes in. There'll be no need to back off. <clears throat> Have a think about what your technique's doing. Don't worry, I'll get into that in a minute. But just a bit of self-analysis before before I go on at you about it. <clears throat> if you're on a Concept 2 and you've got projected finish showing at the bottom of the monitor, try not to let it stray too much. In other words, keep your pace. <clears throat> this is one of those rows where you do need inspiration and motivation. Be it through music or some Scottish doofus talking away to you. <clears throat> but the important thing to remember is all the other training you're doing at 2K pace plus whatever is the same as this. Two K plus twenty at eighteen strokes a minute is the kind of row 
that lets you do 20 minutes, 2k plus 10 at 26. Trust me. As long as you're not fudging your training pace because you want to be rolling faster than the pace suggests, you'll be okay. Whew. All right then, 10 minutes to go. Let's talk technique. Let's go back to the hip rock. Rock forwards, rock backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Try and maintain that forward lean for as long as possible through the drive. And then get back into it on the recovery as quickly as possible. Now you do the recovery part by getting the handle over your knees before you bend them. And then using that momentum to initiate the hip rock forwards. And that, once you bend your knees, is all you need to do to get to the front of the machine. <clears throat> and then you arrive at the front automatically in a forward lean and with arms straight. Ready to drive off for the next stroke. So you shouldn't need, once you start bending your knees, you shouldn't need to do anything with your back. And then when you drive out from the front, make sure you have vertical shins at the front. without needing to lift your heels too far off the foot plate. <clears throat> and then get those heels planted into the foot plate. <clears throat> and push the machine away with your feet. push, don't pull, <clears throat> because as you do that, in a forward lean, you maintain straight arms, you don't bend your elbows too soon, you only bend at the finish here, as you pull in the handle to your chest. <clears throat> of course, it also helps <clears throat> to have relaxed arms when they're straight and relaxed hands. Hook your fingers over the handle, let air circulate 
but importantly, it allows the power to transfer from your legs, through your body, through your arms, and into the handle. I make sure at both ends of the stroke, apart from the very end of the recovery, that your core is nice and powerful to allow that transfer to happen. <clears throat> Come on, five minutes to go. Just under. You've got this. Trust me, if I've got this, you've got this. <clears throat> Straight arms is important at the front. If you ever put both arms by your side, and asked someone to lift you up in the air by kind of pushing up you know, from bottom up through your hands in a closed fist. If you have straight arms, the power from the other person transfers up through your arms and you lift off the ground. <clears throat> if you bend your arms, it's almost impossible because <clears throat> your muscles and tendons soak up all the power. Same principle here. Straight arms lets the power get through. <clears throat> and if you had bent arms through the drive, you'd be fighting against that power with your muscles and your tendons and ligaments and bones. So trust me, if you want to get faster and stronger, straight arms through the drive until the finish. <clears throat> Keep going, drive through those legs. Remember, and Have a strong finish with the handle. Not an early one, but as you get here, get it in there. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two minutes to go, come on. We've got this. This is meant, there's a mid-range top mid-range, hard session. This is meant to feel hard. Like I say, if you want to try a 5k at 26 or 28, forget 30. I was a fool. What was I on about? Well, remember, I'm saying that from my point of view. <clears throat> One minute to go. Maybe 30 strokes is a walk in the park for you. But then, I'd guess, 
your power of power stroke probably isn't that high. I'll talk about that one day in a video. <coughs> I actually just wrote a huge answer on the Drag Factor video about that. So go check out the comments. Here we go, 20 seconds. You don't have to finish fast, just finish at the pace you started at. Uh, two more strokes. Last one. Uh, oh, have a quick drink and then we'll do a two minute cool down. Oh. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh. Just take your time to let your body ease back closer to where it was before you started. Maybe to what it was like after the warm-up. So you shouldn't have been lying down on the floor after that. Should have felt tough. But if you held pace all the way to the end, it will have been top end mid, but won't have destroyed you. If, however, you decided to sprint for the last two minutes. Notice I didn't even make any mention of that today. Or if you pushed the 2K plus nine or 10 the whole way through, then there's a good chance that you're down there right now. Not on my lawn, that would be very strange. I've not got magical powers. Hashtag Dr. Strange. Seems appropriate for that last comment. And you're never gonna guess that from today's rope. So if you made it to the end and you're listening to my end wiffle waffle, then hashtag Dr. Strange it is. Oh. Not entirely sure what my kids are arguing. About. Oh playing. They're not arguing, they're playing. Anyway, so for more about the PDP training plan. Check out the website pdprowing.com. There's also a link at the, in the description of this row. For just general stuff about indoor rowing, go to indoorrowinginfo.com. And if you're interested in the peak plan on my website, there's a link to it because it is a really good plan, but it's just not very adaptable for row along videos because it's all distance rather than time. So I'm taking a bit of his, a bit of theirs, a bit of theirs, theirs, theirs. I made my own one. So anyway, here we go. So that's it, we're done. That's the week. Week one, session six, we're done. Of course, maybe you'll swap this into another week, in which case that whole week one, session six thing just didn't matter. But anyway, I'll finally take my glasses off, but it's so bright. Have a good day, be well, bye-bye.